Hi guys! Today I will be showing you my favorite spots in Italy from least favorite to favorite favorite. Just because I say it is my least favorite does not mean I do not love it. It just means that I visited so many amazing places that it was extremely hard to decide. But let's get right to it. So starting off in seventh place, we have Paestum. Here I am with some water buffaloes. I tried a little bit of the cheese, but it was not my favorite. I prefer Mexican cheese. And then we have Hera's second temple. I really love seeing these temples. They're extremely unique, something I had never seen before. And I can definitely see why they had such a great influence on the grand tour. And I took a couple pictures here, but I definitely wish I had more videos. After this, we ran to this beach to be able to catch the sunset. And we took some super cool pictures with the girls. Coming in at number six, we have Naples. So Naples is actually a city built on layers. It is extremely interesting. This is a walking video that we took while I was looking for some gelato. And the first thing we did when we arrived to Naples was go on a tour of the catacombs of San Gennaro. This was an extremely cool opportunity. I had never been to catacombs before and it was definitely spooky yet religious. After this, we went on a walking tour of Naples. We got to see a lot of cool sites, like this was a place where nuns used to live. And we also got to see a Caravaggio. This is the first Caravaggio that we saw on the trip, and it was called the Seven Works of Mercy. It definitely became one of my favorite art pieces. Caravaggio was amazing. And then we have the Farney's Cup, which Amy pointed out, and this is actually the largest existing cameo in the world. I thought it was really beautiful. After this, we have the Torment of Dursi, also called the Farnese Bowl. Um, it was really beautiful, so I took a 3D video. It has, if you know the story, then you understand the sculpture, but I guess if you don't know the story, you're kind of like, what is this? I recommend going and searching for the story. It has a lot of detail. Here are Jen, Jackie, and I and some street art I found beautiful. After Naples, we have Pompeii taking spot number five. So this is actually the Temple of Isis, and it is cool because it had Egyptian influence. I had never seen something with such historical significance, so I thought it was a really cool experience. Another spot that was really amazing was the amphitheater. One of my dreams is to be able to see a One Direction concert happen here. I don't think it's gonna happen, but anyways, moving on, for spot number four, we have Rome. Rome is beautiful simply because it is Rome. Um, I don't even know what to say, but here we have the Roman Reform Romanium. It was beautiful, and this is one of my favorite videos of Rome. It just looks so serene. And then, of course, here we are inside the Flavian Amphitheater or as you may know it, the Colosseum. This is just a quick little vlog. It was amazing, but I think I expected a little more and maybe that's because I always wanted to go inside and we didn't get a chance to really explore it because of our time crunch or possibly because it was really early in the morning. Um, again, it was a really great experience, but I would have liked more time to explore. Here I am at the Victor Emmanuel Monument and then the Spanish Steps that have nothing to do with Spain for the most part. Here we are outside Hadrian's Villa, and then beneath the Arch of Constantine, inside the Pantheon, and then some really cool girl with a pearl earring street art. Here I am with a Caravaggio. And then this is um, the Piazza Popolo, and it has a really nice overview. And then when I finally made it to the Vatican, I was really happy. I took a video to show my mom. There's Jen. Here's Jackie and I. I was trying to make it seem like I was holding the Vatican, but it didn't really work out. Here I am inside the Vatican. It was really like a dream come true. That is the Stanza de la Signatura by Raphael, Raphael School of Athens. It's beautiful. We were really lucky to be able to get a private tour. 
and a quick photo I took of us laying on the floor of the Sistine Chapel. And this is when we found out we had to go home to take So I just found out we're going home. <laughs> we're still going to Spain. Oh, we're still going to Spain. Oh, we're For a week, and then we're getting set oh. <laughs> to pack. <laughs> My mom said, Tavian, not Tavian. Um, we didn't know what was gonna happen, hopefully. but we knew we had to do it for the, our health. I put this in the middle of the video because I didn't want it making me sad at the end. <laughs> and after that, Third place goes to Florence. I really fell in love with this city. It's so beautiful. I wish we would have had more time. Okay, so what happened? So our lovely, beautiful Italian teacher slash, yeah, just Italian teacher, mother. So she got on a train, on the wrong train with all our tickets. So now we have to go buy our tickets again. But hey, she's heading towards South Italy. She's gonna live her best life. After we met up with Roberta, we went to dinner, and then the next day, I believe we went up the Domo. So, we climbed so many steps to make it to the top, and we finally did. It was, so we went to the museum here today. So, the fact that we can see it from here is crazy. But, there's Jackie. But yeah, guys, I thought I was gonna die on the way up here. There's just no stopping, and then you would turn, and all you would see was more steps. And then here we have the David and then Jackie and I. This was beautiful. If I ever can have one, I would like to have a copy in my house. And then of course, Doug, Gabe, and Jen. Doug. Where are we? Where are we? We're at a Mexican place. Where are we? Of course. Where are we? Where are we? We're in TJ. And that was the first time we found Mexican food in Italy, so we were super excited. And now for spot number two, we have Venezia, better known as Venice, Italy. Venice was such a beautiful place and we are extremely lucky we got to go. We actually were not planning on it. But 48 hours before, you know, we said, what the heck, we might as well go. It was the week before midterms, but it was Carnaval as well. So we just had to go get some masks, go for the Italian experience. This was the weekend before Corona really hit Italy strong. So it's definitely bittersweet looking back. This is a photo I took. I'm very proud of it. And here we are with random strangers with our mask on. And now the number one spot, Orvieto, of course, my favorite place in Italy. I had the pleasure to live here for two months before things got a little bit wild, but I'm definitely grateful for the people and the memories that I was able to make. There are so many that it doesn't even feel like we were only there for two months. It feels like we were there for the full three plus months that we were supposed to be there. I'm extremely grateful for the people I was able to meet in this opportunity to live there. For example, coming up we have when Alva taught us how to make a dessert tiramisu and then we also made pumpkin soup and meatballs with tomato sauce. I'm extremely grateful that Alba opened up her house and she was so nice and so generous. She told us that she had been prepping for weeks and she was super sad that her mom couldn't help come and help like she used to, but I don't know, there's just, she is extremely incredible. Alba, if you're watching this, I miss you and I hope you're doing great. Um, thank you again for opening up your house, for being the nicest and sweetest person. You always gave amazing advice no matter how early we texted you if we were lost on a bus or anything um i really appreciate you 
and I really do hope that I see you soon. Uh, here we are mixing the meatballs and then pumpkin soup, my first time trying it and I definitely have to make it for my parents. My mom would love it. And then this is the time when we got drinks with the Italian students. Roberta introduced us to. They were really nice and welcoming. And yeah, I really appreciated again how nice and welcoming everyone in Orpieto really is. So we just finished eating like eight pizzas. How do you feel? Oh, <laughs> Andres, how do you feel after eating all that food? You're full? It's like the are usually, you know. It's like canine. How do you feel about eating all that food? If your body's not supposed to be able to drink milk, then why do we have lactase? Like, and why do we have a lac apron? That's for the breast. <laughs> you just stare at it. That's for the breast. Jen, any comments? This feels good. What was your favorite? Do the the potato <laughs> the um the one with the I forgot which one was but it has like the balsamic vinegar and the pine nuts and pistachios yeah. oh yeah 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 pistachios and I forgot the meat but it was pretty good yeah pretty and good you need you need we can eat sir yes only in Italy the oven is shaking so bad in like three seconds I just into it. What do you have to say about today? Ask him. Ask him what he has to say. I'm a good pizza. Gracias. You see? Bellissima. This is probably my favorite workshop ever. As you saw, the previous one was a pizza workshop. We ate so much pizza. Oh my goodness, I'm sure everybody remembers the chocolate workshop. Oh my goodness, I love chocolate. Chocolate has been my first love since I was four years old. Chocolate, my love for you just grew in this chocolate workshop. We got to make our own molds, make our own fillings, make tiramisu. Oh my goodness, it was like chocolate heaven. It made me want to just move to Italy, live in a small town and make chocolate for the rest of my life. Here we have Giselle showing us how to clean the tray and it was a beautiful experience. So, the water is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know you made chocolates. They're so good, we also made tiramisu. too. <laughs> Which one is your is, Oh wow. Como te gusta? I recommend you guys make your own chocolate. Yeah. But you guys are not gonna make it as good as us. <laughs> I can taste that it's 19 percent alcohol. So. I don't taste. <laughs> I really like this chocolate. <laughs> and lastly, we have our last workshop, our wine workshop. It was extremely interesting to make these little wine bottles. Um, again, an experience that I got to do in Italy. I really loved it. And we got to put the cork in, put the wax at the end, put a little stamp, our little branding packaging. It was a really unique experience. If you get to the chance to do it in Orvieto, I would definitely recommend it. The people helping us were really nice. And although we did not get to bring back our bottle due to liquid and legal circumstances, um, I definitely just enjoyed being able to look at it in my room. And now I have these little memories, which are amazing as well.
from here I don't really have any signature memories I ought to do a little bit of voiceover but I really just want to take a minute to thank Roberta our Italian mom I really appreciate everything that you did for us I really do miss you and I hope you're feeling better and I cannot wait to go visit you I'm definitely gonna take up your offer but again I miss you <laughs> and overall I just want to thank again the Dorances for this experience it was a great bonding experience with amazing people I got to do things like again wine tasting with my friends I didn't even know that I could taste the difference in wine so being able to learn that was really special I got to make memories with now some of my favorite friends. Here's my roommate, Jackie, cutting my bangs. This was a moment where I realized I really trusted her because I do not let people touch my hair. But I'm really grateful for you, Jackie, and I miss you, and I hope you're doing great. I hope you can see the panic in my eyes, but then I realized what, just half of it is gone. I have to trust her now. <laughs> the Domo, of course beautiful if you have the chance to go check it out please please do i regret not going back and then just these small experiences like for example making dinner with our my friends giselle made bomb caldo de pollo best caldo de pollo i've had today i miss this caldo de pollo we were so confused to what we were doing at first but afterwards it came out delicious delicious thank you giselle Thank you. Okay. However, when we made tortillas, they good. came out really super stale, stale <laughs> and hard to eat, but we, wait, we ate them anyways because they sort of reminded us of home, but not really. You can see Jackie's face. <laughs> this is really just my clothing statement, but I want to take a minute to thank the Dorrance program for helping me make these memories. I want to take a minute to thank Matt and the professors, of course, Mark, Amy, Victor, sorry, Professor Martinez. Um, and yeah, help, thank you for helping me understand Italian culture, Italian art. Thank you for our, to our Italians, Roberta, Alba, Claudio, who was our landlord. Rosita, Margarita, thank you to everybody. I'm sorry if I forgot to mention you, but this experience would have been impossible without you. I will be back in the next four years, and that is a promise that I'm making to myself. And I guess from now on, these are just going to be a couple closing pictures, but thank you. Spring 2020, you were the best two months that I've ever had in my life, so thank you.